Imagine 600,000 men, two to three million people at least, waiting by Yamsuf. Behind them, the Mitzrayim. To the right, to the left, there's nowhere to go. Moshe Rabbeinu tells the Yamsuf, split. And the Yamsuf is not splitting. Moshe Rabbeinu, he wants to go bring the Torah for Bnei Yisrael. Aharon HaKohen HaGadol, Bnei Yisrael, we're ready to go serve Borei Olam. Yamsuf, split for Bnei Yisrael. And the Yamsuf is not splitting for nobody. All of a sudden, Hayam Ra'ah Fayanos. What? Who? Who just came in? Who's here? The Yamsuf, say our rabbis, split in honor of one person, Yosef HaTzadik. Yosef's bones were bought, and all of a sudden, in honor of one tzaddik, the Yamsu says, whoa, 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 whoa. Yosef had tzaddik himself is here. Hayam ra'ah, the Yamsu saw, so to speak, the bones of Yosef, vayanos, and fled. Why for Yosef had tzaddik? Yosef had tzaddik had the hardest test in the history of mankind. Says the Nativo Shalom, harder than the test of Akedat Yitzchak. He was in a house with Eshe Potiphar, the most tamer place on earth, where she tried to seduce herself three times a day. He was there for one full year. And says the Kliyakar, Yosef has no clue what she looks like. How do you live in a house with a lady? She's trying to seduce him three times a day. And Yosef Hatzadik, a 17-year-old boy, stood to the test, the greatest test in the history of mankind. In honor of Yosef running away from his test, the Yamsuf says, I'm going to run away from myself. I'll split in honor of Yosef Hatzadik. One boy at 17 years old changed the course of history for Am Yisrael. If Yosef did not pass his test, says the Igra de Kala, the Yamsuf would never have split. What would be? We have no idea. But Bishkut Yosef, we were all saved. Yosef at Sadiq, when he tells Bnei Yisrael the final words, he says, aditem et atzmutai mize. Take my bones with you. He needs us to take his bones. Yosef knew that in order to leave, we're going to have to stick to his derech, to his path. He was telling Bnei Yisrael, you want to get out of here? Take my bones, but take my essence. Take what I stood for, take it with you, and you'll be able to leave the Galut. Whenever Bnei Yisrael were in Galut, we are able to elevate and to leave the exile. It all depends on Bnei Yisrael. The faster Bnei Yisrael are able to up their game and to stick to the derech of Yosef HaTzadik, to this beautiful path of Kedusha and Tahara, then the faster we're going to be able to leave our Galut, our exile. One 17-year-old boy to change it for all B'nai Yisrael.